Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. This side Asif Imnad. This video is going to be really exciting because we're going to talk about Naive Base Classifier, a demo on Naive Base Classifier. I'm really excited about this video because we are going to use one of the popular data set that is Iris data set using Jupyter Notebook and Scikit-learn library. So let's get started without wasting our time more. Alright, so before I jump on the demo part, let me give you a brief idea about Iris dataset. We already discussed Iris dataset in the previous demo when we have seen a demo on logistic regression where we have already taken a same demo, same dataset that is Iris dataset, but we have used other machine learning algorithm that is logistic regression. We classified Iris dataset using logistic regression. If you have not watched that video, I recommend you to please go ahead and watch that video first and then you can come back and see how we can use naive Bayes algorithm to classify Iris dataset. Okay, so Iris dataset is a typical machine learning classification problem. Very popular one, very famous one. There are three species of this Iris flowers. We have given data, we have given some images like these and we need to identify just by looking at the image which species it fall under. Okay, so we need to find out whether it is setosa, whether it is versicolor or whether it is virginica. We are not going to do the image processing and neural networks that we will study in the deep learning. But for now, what we have, so we have a table in which the features of these flowers are already given and we need to identify which type of flower it is. Okay, so let's jump to demo now. Right, I have already opened my Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda prompt and this is how my notebook looks like. Now we have already know what is Naive Bayes algorithm stands for and how it works. We have already created very nice conceptual videos on Naive Bayes classification. Please go and watch those videos. We have recently uploaded those. So just to give you an idea, so Naive Bayes is a simple and very effective algorithm which can be used in classification problems. So this is our classification problem, right? Which falls under supervised learning where we want to classify different types of flowers so here we don't really use these equations machine learning uses these equations internally we will be just importing these libraries and getting the predictions getting the classifications done on the iris data set some more information on naive Bayes algorithm naive Bayes assumes every feature every input is independent we already discussed what do you mean by independent and naive Bayes equation how it works what it is we have discussed it in detail already please watch that video first okay so looking at the iris data set flowers petal and sepal features are given i mean the inputs are given if you see we have a columns we have a table which looks like this sepal length sepal weed petal length petal weed and the target this stands for the output right so given all this data what will be the type of flower so if sepal length is 5.1 sepal width is 3.5 so on and so forth then this is a setosa on this data we will train our model this time we will be using naive base classifier there are three types of naive base classifiers we can use right Gaussian naive bias, multinomial naive bias, Bernoulli's naive bias. We are going to use all these three algorithms and we will understand which one fits best for our data set and which gives better accuracy. So as per the standards, import all the libraries we are going to use. We are going to use data set which is already given by sklearn, that is Iris data set, right? And we are also going to import metrics which will help us to accurately measure the accuracy of the model. I mean precision recall and F1 score, that's why we need metrics. It is a thumb of a rule. Import pandas, numpy, matplotlib, and sibon. Nothing new here. And we are importing one more library that is Gaussian naive Bayes. That's the only one thing that we have added here. Okay, sklearn.naive Bayes import Gaussian naive Bayes. So we will be using Gaussian naive Bayes algorithm to start with. Let me hit shift enter. So this will execute. Star stands for it is executing. Now if you check, we are preparing our data. So very first thing we are loading our data. Iris is equal to dataset.load iris. Then we are preparing our data so that I can get the data in the table form. You know about it, right? Pandas helps us to get the data in the table form, which will help us to visualize the data and fire the queries on the table. Okay, so that's why we are converting this data set into the data frame by using pandas. Okay, so I'm using pandas dot data frame and providing what features, what columns you want to consider. So I want to consider all the features and the target as well. And df dot head to print first five rows. Let's execute this. 
so this is how a data set look like so this is sepal length sepal width petal length petal width everything is in the centimeters and target is our output right so we will provide input and output that is x and y to the machine learning model gaussian new base model and we will predict the future inputs right in future we will provide some data based on which the machine learning will predict what is the target so class will be either 0 1 or 2 and 0 is nothing but your one type of suci that is setosa versicolor or virginica now let's see how many columns we have for that i'm saying data frame of target i mean i'm considering only one column and show me the count values count right if i hit shift enter this is what i get it says 0.0, .0 is 50 2.0 is 50 1.0 is 50 that means we have 150 rows right equally distributed 150 setosa 50 versicolor and 50 virginica but 0 1 2 are the classes machine learning doesn't understand characters right so we are converting these species into the number 0 1 or 2 okay and this is of type integer right you know what are the steps we follow in creating machine learning models we import all the required libraries we understand the data we scale or normalize the data which is a part of data science we visualize the data so that it can give us the insights of the data how it looks like so after visualizing it will help us to which algorithm we can think of using or we can you know think of considering columns and doing some feature engineering by visualizing it right feature engineering is all about making your data machine learning friendly we can get data which is in the raw format right but all the data may not be useful so we need to identify which data or which columns which rows are really important for machine learning and which has maximum effect on the output so that is what the feature engineering is right this is also we discussed in previous videos once we have the data which is machine learning friendly we can provide it to the model and model training will happen here and once the model is trained now we can go for the predictions i mean now we can provide the new input for which the machine learning will give you the output so these are the simple seven steps we generally follow in any machine learning problems so now we know the count we have 150 rows now let's visualize the data so for visualizing i am using sns and sns you know it is a seaborn right so seaborn library is used to visualize it is advanced library in python falls under data science which helps us to visualize the data okay for visualization we use seaborn let me hit shift enter here as well so i'm using seaborn library if set dot treat I'm visualizing only target values, that is species, Setosa, Versicolor, Virginica, 0, 1 or 2, right? And uh, I'm doing a scatter plot. I want to see the scatter plot. PLT is matplotlib, matplotlib.scatter. And I'm visualizing only two things here, petal length and petal width. And show me the legends as well. So if I see the data, this is how it looks like. Okay, petal length versus petal width. All right, if you observe this closely, the blue dots are way far than the other two. So we can see the clear classification here. Just by visualizing, I can easily say type 0, I mean, this could be setosa, can be classified very easily. So there is no mix and match here. But for type 1 and type 2, we have some mixes here. So there may be a poor prediction for classifying type 1 and type 2, versicolor and virginica. But for type 1, we can see 100% accuracy just by visualizing the data. Let's see what machine learning gives us. All right, so that's it. We visualized, data science part is done. Now simple task is model we are going to use is Gaussian new base. Model is equal to Gaussian new base. Model dot fit. It is simply we are training our data. It is that simple. Machine learning is very easy. Everything is ready. We just have to use the functions. We just have to use the algorithms. All right, so I'm using model dot fit. Iris dot data is X and Iris dot target is Y x and y we provide both input and output to our machine learning model and this is what we call training our model so model training is done i'm using simple score function here to see what is the accuracy of my model so model dot score input and output again we are currently checking it on the same data on the same data what will be the score okay so on same data the accuracy is 96 percent 0.96 is nothing but 96 percent accuracy we are going to get okay but remember this is on the same data set so the accuracy may be different when you provide new input so for new inputs i'll have to prepare different text here okay but we know that score is not a correct way to measure the accuracy of our model so that's why we use precision recall and f1 score we have created again a video on precision recall and f1 
score which is a very important video please watch that video guys this is very important from interview point of view all right for measuring the accuracy accurately we are going to use metrics so for this i'm preparing x and y again expected is nothing but our target and predicted is nothing but model dot predict so model dot predict will actually give me the predictions so in simple words once the model is trained we use model dot predict and we provide new data currently we are providing same data here but in reality we provide new data so that it will give us actual output or actual predictions let me execute and now i am using matrix library to display the confusion matrix and precision and recall let's hit enter here so how it looks like you can see precision recall and f1 score and 0 1 2 are the classes right this is setosa this is versicolor this is virginica all right so we see the precision recall and f1 score for type 0 is 1 1 and we have already identified it just by visualizing it it can be easily classified there is no mix right so that is why precision for this is 100% 1 is 100% and uh, precision recall for type 1 it is 94% recall is 94% that's why f1 score is 94% in layman's term f1 score is nothing but average or mean of precision and recall okay and uh, versicolor type 2 94 94 that's why f1 score is 94% all right so this precision recall and f1 score gives us the better understanding of the accuracy of our model so accuracy of our model is 96% right and we are also displaying it using confusion matrix and this is how the matrix look like i don't know why people call it as confusion matrix it's very easy to understand let me help you here it's a 3 by 3 matrix because we have three types three classes that's why 3 by 3 how many data we have we have 50 type 0 50 type 1 50 type 2 right 50 out of 50 are rightly classified as setosa that is class 0 simple and in row 2 we can see 47 are rightly classified that is type 1 versicolor and 3 are wrongly classified as virginica okay so we see 47 data points are classified as versicolor and 3 are wrongly classified as virginica this gives us more insights isn't it and if i check third row we can see that 0 classified as setosa 3 classified as versicolor 47 are rightly classified these 3 are wrongly classified as versicolor which is actually a virginica these must be virginica but it is wrongly classified as versicolor important is to understand which algorithm to use when important is to understand how to make our data machine learning friendly that is really important and improving the accuracy over the period of time that is really important by the way i'm going to upload these on github repository we keep sharing lot of valuable content on our telegram channel you can join the telegram channel yeah but don't forget we have seen only one type that is gaussian naive bayes we also have multinomial naive bayes and bernoulli's naive bayes we will see that in the next video video is getting lengthy we will stop here that's it for this video thank you bye bye